Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also get me on my Facebook page, True Divine 44, and it is the True Divine for both Instagram and Twitter. Any likes, shares, subscribes, and comments are greatly, greatly appreciated. And much love to everybody who's doing that thus far. I really do appreciate you all and all the new clients. You've been amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me and I hope that I'm doing my best to support you. So I really do appreciate it. And of course, all of the comments. So this is the free content that I put out. It's a daily energy reading slash tarot. I work together with energy and tarot and bring it to you as a narrative to help guide you on your day, to help you um, maintain your energy levels to help you um, navigate your energy within, within others and around you. So there's lots of, there's, there's a lot to do with stability here, stability in the home. People are looking at how they can create stability in the home. People, um, a lot of people considering today how they can move, how they can move away from where they are, trying to figure out where, where we'll feel safe, where we'll feel stable. Um, of course, with the current climate, things are difficult that way. Um, even just viewing our houses can be very difficult in that way. But actually, you know, it seems like it would be a crazy idea. But as far as the billionaires go, they actually help create times like this. Because this is the very time, just like the crash, I think it was in 2008, that's the very time that they rake it in. When everything's looking so unstable, they look for the bargains. They look for ways to buy things up and pay half of the price, if that, and um, you know, have it there ready to recover. So it's about thinking differently. It's about using this system against itself. Um, not just whinging about it, not just talking about it, but having some strategy behind it and looking at how um, the people that seem to flourish in these systems that they create, what they do. And what they do is they're brave enough to take risks. Um, of course, it's easier for them because they're part of helping create the, the risky environment that we're in right now and in past times. But, you know, it, that's not to say that we can't use it and we can't do exactly what they're doing to create abundance and stability in our lives. So we've got the 10 of Wands on the bottom of the other deck. And this obviously being a 10, this is a tough, tough cycle. But there's something to do with moving homes, homes could be, being more stable, people moving in, people moving out, things like that that is very, very prevalent today. Um, people trying to move away from where they, they live, usually very, very prevalent energy today. Now, the first two cards are the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So seeing things somehow differently, seeing things in a different light, how you would create that stability, how you would create that um, happiness, that emotional contentness, that bliss. Um, a lot of you feel in this way of figuring out that, you know, you can't... Um, you can't possibly be feeling this happy. You can't possibly be feeling this bliss if you, um, in this environment, what's going on? Well, I say, no, of course you can. That's exactly what you should be doing. That's exactly the frequency energy stuff that I've been preaching on and on and on about for months. And so well done you, you know, creating that abundance, that alignment, that happiness in the nine of cups and that overflowing cup, that bliss. Uh, Wayne Steiger mentioned, and he's quite right, that the Ace of Cups represents the constant overflowing fountain. Because even when the cup looks empty, it's actually full of energy. It's actually full. It's always full. That space is always filled up with something. You've just got to find a way to turn those keys in your life to create it into your bliss. And so a lot of you have done that. And that is great work. That is you doing the inner work in the toughest times. And you get the most out of it, to be honest, because you've expanded enough to be able to create your center point, your bliss point, your happiness, no matter what is going on around you. And that is a very, very powerful trait and trick to have in your toolbox. So the next one is the four of coins. So another four. And um, this is the four of pentacles. It's about the earth, the foundation that you have. Um, this is clarified by the three of cups. So something about the foundation, something about the celebration, a win some way, somehow um, is coming in for, for a lot of you today. Um, don't be too um, miserly. Don't be too, don't get 
don't get back into that side of, of how can I be so happy right now? How can I be so happy with this huge change in my life right now? Um, and, and try and cling on to old ways that weren't serving you. And even if they have been serving you, they're not going to serve you in the future because things are changing so drastically, you wouldn't believe what it's going to look like in 2021. So the Three of Cups, you know, this is speaking of celebration with others, collaboration with others, um, togetherness, connectedness. And again, that bliss moment. So go with it. Do not dampen it. Do not limit it. Do not um, give your limited and doubt in mind any space to talk. Um, the next card is the Major Arcana. And actually, it's the only Major Arcana in this reading. And it's the Hanging Dragon, the Hangman. And so this is about seeing things from a different perspective, finding bliss in different ways, um, maybe realigning what you find important with that four of pentacles, um, allowing your, your emotions to, 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 allowing yourself to channel your emotions into something that you really love, that you maybe forgot that you loved or someone that you really loved, that you maybe forgot how much you loved. And so th seeing things from a different perspective is a very powerful message today. The hanging dragon, the hangman is enlightened, um, is, is in waiting, is watching. And that's about all we can do right now is center ourselves, find our own bliss, no matter what is going on around us, um, create collaborations, friendships, celebrations for the important things that with that all said and done, everything that has been happening over the last seven, eight months, you know, it's important that we do remember what, what we took for granted, the togetherness, the, 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 the house parties, the, the family, the, the get togethers in whatever way, shape or form, people stopping on the street and talking more, all of those things we now see from a perspective of they were precious and very important. And so um, it really is a realigning your um, values of what you find abundant and blissful. Uh, also seeing things from a different perspective. A lot of you, for some reason, today, the energy really is shifting to make people see just how movie-like this existence has been created to be. Uh, this isn't what it needs to be. This isn't what it, all it can be but that's what it's been hijacked and created to be. And a lot of you are seeing that with this hanging dragon today. Um, to clarify this hanging dragon, dragon, we have the page Knight of Wands. And so he is creative, is mutable, is fast moving, is the people person. So this is about connections with people. Um, and it's about connections with people on the emotional level, on the creative level, and even with the spiritual dragon or the hanging dragon on the spiritual level. Um, there's something coming to an end in a lot of people's lives. Decisions are being made um, to go for happiness, to go for bliss, to go for the thing that really does fill your cup up with everything you want it to be filled with. Uh, the holy grail of your life, so to speak. There's something about that today that is really important and not to be, not to be passed up upon, not to be um, ignored at all. Go for it. Go for it for all your work. This is exactly the kind of reading I like doing, especially after all the readings where I feel like I've been saying, you know, telling off, not telling off, but you know what I mean? This is, this is good because this shows movement, this shows growth. Um, this shows that people are seeing through the illusion that has been cast. Now, what can we say about the collective stage with this? Nothing, nothing. There's lots happening. They're in a bit of a pause today. Um, there's lots happening, but, you know, nothing more than we've already talked about, than we've already spoken about. Um, no, there's nothing to say about that today. Uh, whoever this resonates with, I want you to align yourself with this bliss and abundance. I don't even want you to give any energy to the collective stage. I don't even want you, that's the, hang, that's the wisdom of the hanging man. 
not to give the energy to that when you're finally turning the key to feel this connectedness, this friendship, going for something that you are emotionally driven to go towards, um, making uh, your home, your home space, wherever your roots are, happy, st stable and safe, bringing the end of the heavy, heavy cycle to an end, being creative with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you ignore the collective stage today. You do you. It says in you do you boo. I think that's what they say. Um, they probably said that years ago though. Uh, I forget. So yeah, don't take any notice of the collective stage today. Go with this. Creating your stability, creating your abundance, creating your happiness um, and allowing this cycle in your life. This has been very heavy, hard um, to be uh, brought to an end, which speaks of huge achievement um, huge happiness and it brings in that ace of cups even stronger beautiful well done you if this resonates with you you're doing amazingly this is spiritual growth this is spiritual expansion this is amazing and so if you'd like a private reading with me you can hook up with me at true divine media at gmail.com you can get me a true divine 44 on private messenger um, you can also that's about it you can book spiritual guidance, you can book uh, energy sessions, whatever you think will help you most. We can discuss that before you choose. Um, so yeah, you can do that. So much love, stay balanced, stay whole and, and, and do this. This is exactly where people need to be today. Um, so if you're not quite there, find your key, find, find a way that you can get here um, because this is, this is the important stuff. It really, really is. So much love. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you all for sharing what I do, listening and commenting. Honestly, um, you know, I, I put in the work and you guys come and listen. It, it's, a, it's an amazing reciprocity and I really, really, really appreciate it. So happy Sunday and I'll see you all soon.